Hey guys, well it's uh, Thursday today, it's my day off and uh, now I'm going to pick up where I left off, I'm going to try to get this backing plate off. Um, I've got my quarter inch wrench and I've got an assortment yeah, of bits. So I'm going to try this one. It's incredibly difficult to do one handed. I'm going to try this one and see if I can't get that thing apart. And then that would make changing the belt out. But as one of you suggested in my last video, get one of those segmented V-belts. So I'm looking at one of those now. Um, I think I'll probably pick one of those up very shortly. Uh, it would make changing out belts infinitely easier. I wouldn't have to take anything apart. You just uh, slack it off, twist the belt sideways, pop it out, and you're done. Remove the belt, replace it. Easy peasy. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get this, uh, get those three bolts out, three screws out, and uh, see what we can do. Well, I got it. Um, I had to remove the uh, nut assembly for this guy, and then slide the pulley all the way forward, pull the key out, and then uh, shaft slid right out, so that was not too bad at all. So next step is going to be... Oh, Putting the 39 series belt on, which should be a fair bit smaller, I hope. <laughs> so I'll get that stuffed onto there. Actually, I'm going to compare them and see how how big a difference there is between this BP 39 and the BP 40. Then we'll see what we can do. All right. Well, I got the assembly back together. I got the new or the old original motor mounted up. Um, this belt's looking a lot better for tension, um, I don't know what changed, um, but this belt is fitting a lot better now. This is the original, uh, 39 series. Ah, right there. One thing I gotta do is I gotta press this back into here so that it, uh, rotates a little more smoothly. Um, yeah. It was binding a little bit more. <laughs> well, the more I move it, the more it's loosening up, and that's because it is wearing this plate out. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can't jam it in. But right now, what I think I'm gonna do is run to the parts store and uh, pick up one of these uh, Seagull 7010 seals. <laughs> Hopefully, they've got something I can use. So that's what I'm going to do and then I can get that uh, seal installed in there and then I can put the main shaft back in or the spindle and uh, away we go from there. So wish me luck. I got it all back together. That is not quite in but it's in enough. It uh, spins pretty free so. Um, one thing I noted is I did upgrade the extension cord. It is much heavier duty now. Um, but it's still not enough to drive this, so I'm wondering if the motor's just cold. So for now, i got a heater blowing onto it. I'm going to warm the motor up, and then um, once it's warm to the touch, instead of ice friggin' cold, uh, I'm going to give it a shot. But um, with the smaller belt on, it slacks so much better. Let's see if I can... I can't do this one-handed. Such guys. Right there. There. So that's that's not even fully slack. You can still click. Mucho better. <laughs> so much better. So that slacks up nice. I filled uh, these up as best I could with uh, some of this stuff. It's good stuff. Um, that should make the bearings last forever and a half. Um, wasn't able to get a new seal and I very thoroughly inspected this seal and once it warmed up once the seal warmed up I was able to form it back and there's there's nothing wrong with the seal except for where I hammered it on the back side um, to drive it out but I was very careful with it so I set the spring back in there ran my finger around it a few times and it was it was nice and uh, nice and round again so not too worried about that and you can see a little bit of schmoo on the shaft there, or the spindle. 
Um, that is just uh, some of that stuff that I used to lubricate the shaft and the, uh, the seal so that it would slide in all nice. So hopefully this, uh, this little heat the motor up trick works and then I'll be able to test it out. Ah, so freaking excited. Can't wait to start machining stuff again. Yeah, everything, everything is working so much better now. Holy, it's cold. Camera's having a hell of a time trying to focus. So, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully this all works again. I like this thing. My grandpa's old lathe. Yeah. But uh, I definitely um, am going to look into that uh, segmented v-belt because if I ever have to change this out again I'm just gonna cut it off so not fun to do and it actually doesn't look like it's quite aligned so I'll uh, undo that and there's a little allen head guy in there set screw set screw I can't remember what I called them last time but I'm gonna loosen off the set screw and knock this over just a hair so that it is in line because no, not so much. Yeah, I'd say it's maybe an eighth of an inch shifted that way. But I uh, can easily remedy that. Well guys, it's just too cold. Too cold to do this, so... Uh, the motor's not going to work. I don't know if it's an extension cord issue. Um, I can maybe try to clean up the other end of it. Um, with some sandpaper, see if I can get some better current going through. But I've got the lid put back on, so that's that's a positive. Um, everything else seems to be working all right. Um, yeah, I really can't wait to get this thing fired up again and start turning some parts. Well, guys, I can get the motor to spin by itself. Not very well. But uh, it does work. You can. It's almost like it's not spinning quite fast enough to. Uh, ooh. Kick the start off. Oh shit. Oh, hope I didn't just screw this up. That's not good. That's really not good. I really hope I didn't just break this. Well guys, that'll do it for today. Uh, I'm gonna have to wait till a warmer day to uh, see if I cooked that motor or not. Cross your fingers that I didn't. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I guess until next time. <laughs> Take care guys. Thanks for watching.